It's a problem we've seen now spread across the metro. Rocks and debris thrown at cars from highway overpasses, shattering windshields, causing wrecks, and sending drivers to the hospital. So far, no culprit has been caught until now. And a man is behind bars tonight after troopers say they caught him throwing chunks of cement at cars on I-5 in Federal Way. It's the latest arrest in what has been a rash and similar incidents on the I-5, I-90 corridor. Q13 News reporter Olivia Lavoie has the details tonight. At least four cars were damaged after being hit with pieces of cement last night in Federal Way. The arrest happened just up the road from here last night after a driver called 911 to report someone had thrown a rock at their vehicle. We're told that a trooper on scene actually got out of their car and hopped over the freeway barrier in order to follow a suspicious looking man on foot. The trooper found the man lying in tall grass with chunks of concrete nearby. Troopers say the suspect was positively ID'd by one of the victims. Investigators say there's no evidence linking this suspect to more than 75 similar documented incidents that have happened to drivers on I-5 in Seattle, going back as far as January, leading to serious damage on cars and some serious injuries. Somebody just dropped something off the overpass onto, my, onto me. Somebody attempted to murder me? That's what I think. It was an act of violence. It was a terrorism act. Traumatic. I mean, it's horrible. That was what WSP trooper Rick Johnson had to say after a man was knocked unconscious, his face cut after a rock went through his windshield last month. Troopers upped their patrol in late June to try to catch perps in the act, and they did, or so they thought at first. Two men were arrested in Seattle for rock throwing. One was involuntarily admitted to a hospital. The other was released from jail after troopers discovered he was the wrong guy. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. The Washington State Patrol asking anyone with information to please call 911, especially reports of any pedestrians on the freeway or suspicious characters on the overpasses.